So, hello and welcome. Christopher from Adventure Van. What you see behind me is our beautiful region uh, in Poland. And I am here to show you our latest build, which is the Escapader. It is a 2005 Sprinter. Uh, it is a completely overhauled product. It's a completely overhauled vehicle. It was disassembled to the last possible piece and built as new. We work a lot on these classic vans because they are not so full of electronics. Uh, they are really, really good in the off-road. Uh, standard they have diff lock and some of them had some uh, reduction gears like this one here so like this is one of the really really the last real off-roaders in the van category so we work on new vans as well but we love to work with these ones so i will talk about it a little bit so as always the whole van was disassembled to the last piece it was sandblasted bodywork renewed uh, primed and painted with raptor the whole underbody of the van was also overhauled so it was um, um, sandblasted new painted and covered with wax oil uh, which is um, underbody protection this was done uh, the underbody was done by PFA Offroad, our, the friendly company which we work with. They also overhauled the front axle, the back axle and the middle box, the um, 4x4 drive box to the, to the possible highest level. So we have some new bearings, new parts and new oils and filters. Uh, well, new oils and filters in the engine, sorry. Um, all of it is standing on our heavy duty suspension which we designed as adventure van we have pedal shocks in the backs uh, kayaba coilovers custom coilovers which we produce and a special leaf spring reinforcements which uh, we manufacture we have 15 inch uh, rims and 31 and 10 and a half inch bf goodrich all-terrain ko2 tires we use these tires because in cooperation with the suspension it works just perfectly in any off-road conditions it gives a softness which we want in you know generally these vents are like very stiff originally and when they are even like converted they like go down and their um, suspension travel is very weak so what we do we just bring them back to like empty position we extend the travel of suspension and by installing these 15 inch tires we uh, you know we get the most most capable off-road car that is possible with this shape a lot of people install 16 inch tires in these vans and i think that's a mistake because it, this one extra inch give, makes a big difference. There is much less meat on the, on the, the tread on the, on, the, on the tire. And these vans are much, much stiffer. So anytime we install 16 inch tires for our customers who really want them, uh, they ask us that, you know, they face sometimes like when they drive on the, on the speed bump or something like that, they experience like this kind of a bump noise and i always tell them that it is strictly because of the uh, rim selection so generally we have eagle hot snorkel uh, some ladders there pfa off-road in cooperation with us made the roof rack uh, and um, all of this outside accessories this is aluminium roof rack um, to make it all like drive really nicely we modified the ecu of the car so we have <clears throat> 183 horsepower, 400 newton meters. This is an automatic gearbox, so it works really nice. The car weighs 2,970 to 980 um, kilograms, which is a really cool result for such a van because this is a, this is a Brutto uh, weight. So it is like loaded, tanked and everything. So we have a really nice and lightweight 4x4 van, uh, which is maximally equipped and it allows this power allows this this van to drive really nicely without feeling of being like very lazy so what we did we uh we've exchanged the lamps we've custom made the lamps they are um bike Senon hid lamps with drl ring here with the driving light they have automatic uh positioning system they have the sprinkling system so they are fully legal in europe we've installed the strands lights everywhere these are really cool lamps this is also a drl light and they are extremely strong i mean the 
the um, amount of light that is coming out of them is really crazy and what is very cool is that they are e-certified so it means that you can install them on your van you can use the driving lights on them and nobody will bother you with uh, asking that this is illegal you know you can have these lights installed on your car obviously use them off-road but you don't have to like worry that someone will uh, bother you with that so what we have here just some details you know we have some nice Oberregner backup. So we work with Oberregner representative a lot. So he've sent us some of these cool features. So as they like the work that we do so much that they said, you know, you are making such, such making such a nice vans that we want to have our little little touches on them. So that's cool. Domatic as for windows, fresh water inlet, ARB treads, spare wheel carrier with jerry can holder well this is our carrier with ladder but uh, the customer they wanted us to install the rotopack system here just five liter canister just to have this extra fuel when they will not reach a gas station if they ever drive somewhere like far east or something like that they will install bigger jerry can and this is why we also have here the ladder because like now they can access the roof rack very easily there is a platform we have fiamma awning that's classic classic and standard stuff and as you see already beautiful bed and we have the stick for the awning and some of the um you know uh, storage space the owners they are not so sporty they don't take bikes with them and etc so they ask us that we build a garage underneath which will be like an extra storage space so we have a lifepo liontron 200 uh, amp hours battery we have arb air compressor so here we nicely we fitted the um, um, front runner seats and table here is the back of the refrigerator we have a webasto hot water boiler we have a gas bottle gas bottle is only for the cooker and we have uh, Eberspecher uh, air heating system. So, oh, and obviously exterior shower. So generally that's it here. The, um, they wanted that uh, everything is in the back and easy accessible, that they can remove Webasto very fast or they can diagnose it very fast. So this is the, the layout here is how the customer planned it. Here is a little safe so you can put in some uh, expensive stuff and be sure that it will be much much harder to steal them than from the cabinets and here we have all of the electronical system so we have a cases under the car they are produced in a way that you cannot like you know uh, hang the car on them and damage them the size is so proper so here we have like the full full electronic system hidden so it don't it doesn't take a lot of space and it also is very easy to access all right then let's go to the front of the van again and let's go to the interior because probably this is what most of you wait for so i will start with driver's cabin i want to inform you that we have some pieces here which are missing we've ordered them from mercedes so we need a new carpet we need some new plastics there so uh, we are waiting for some stuff and then we will give the car to the customer so we have an extra cup holder um, fast charge usb ports ram mounts holder cb radio let's go here we've removed the we've dislocated relocated the handbrake and here we have a very very old school radio this is a modern radio but in the old school shape the owner wanted it like this he didn't want too modern looking radio uh, backup camera and a very interesting thing which is O-Tool this is an in inclinometer and um, you know the height meter and everything this is like an onboard computer in one it connects with nine uh, GPS satellites um, I've seen today that it even connected with 12 very important first of all it shows you like the angles of the car in the off-road so you can safely drive and not roll over the car but also it's like very helpful when you camp that you can set the position of the van and sleep in nice nicely and comfortably as well you can allow the water in the shower to go in the proper way so first feature 
Second feature, it shows you your GPS coordinates, it shows you your altitude, it shows you <clears throat> the direction you drive, number of satellites that you are connected with. Here we have 12 satellites. Here we have some kilometers per hour meter and miles per hour meter. So if you change your um, country where you're driving from kilometers to miles and so on, you can just adjust it. Uh, I need to adjust the clock on it because the clock and date is not adjusted properly. So here it is. And here we have like a car onboard computer, which shows you how many kilometers you drove today and how long it took and so on and so on. So that's that's one of the nicest features that we have. Some little lamp to read the map if you are somewhere in the bush. And we have beautifully, beautifully made re-upholstered seats from, uh, from Zonda Design. So this is a real Italian leather, real Italian Alcantara. This is a custom design here. We have some nice burnt logo of adventure van and look at this stitching how straight and beautiful it is and how perfectly it matches the whole seat so let's go again to the outside let's go here here we have an you know just a table to enjoy you can put some beers on it like that very simple here we have an extra light if you need to make a mood and nicely nicely finished and were very well shaped um you know reinforcement lines so we go to the inside i will try to keep this talk on a point but it's very hard with this car because i know that there's so many things that were done here that uh, i may sometimes talk a little bit like about kitchen and then about toilet and so on please forgive me that so we have natural hemp liner everywhere this is on a uh, ultra light plywood all is that is made and upholstered our company we have an all year round uh, isolation but this i will talk about later led lights everywhere airline systems which allow us to for example hang some pans here when you're cooking and you want them to dry off a little bit you can also take the ram mount um, iPad holder and you can just adjust it and put it anywhere around the car and watch your favorite <clears throat> Netflix movie if you need it JBL speakers and a very very funky uh, touch which we did in this car the Kadiam customers they wanted some blue touches on the car because the shade of the car is like a little bit gray and blue so uh, they wanted that we incorporate these colors and blend them together so we have blue and gray stitching on the chairs we have it on the floor this is a woven vinyl floor and we have that shape also on the map here you see all of these beautiful 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 finishing touches and all of these gray colors from this map they match this plate and this and that so that's really really overall one beautiful piece so i made it a little bit dirty because i was recording the movie in polish before and cabinets are made of aluminium and bamboo this is a uh, a mix that we've developed in the last years of doing adventure vans and this is our technology here and we will stay with it now it is super light uh, it is super tough we are like we can actually guarantee that this furniture will not get damaged in 10 or even 20 years um, if someone will not tend to do it you know it is so extremely extremely strong and very important thing is first of all it allowed us to shape it that everywhere we have soft cornering so no sharp edges second of all we used very very thin bamboo plates and we screw them like that as you see everywhere because these are very thin ones and if you use a wood screw you know it will just break off so with this we have possibility to remove every single part of this van is possible to remove and renew after five years when you get some scratches here and there you can just go to your local varnisher he can disassemble some stuff for you some pieces separately and he can renew the whole whole interior so another cool thing with it is that it has all thin lines thin edges so generally you are not wasting your space for like some silly constructions inside and it has a soft close system 
without any extra piston. So there is no piston, nothing on your way, and very strong latches. You know, this, this doesn't move at all. So we have this cabinets everywhere the kitchen is made of it aluminium bed frame is made of it we have some air vents here <clears throat> so you know we don't get wet mattress so let's go to the sleeping room and that's that's how beautiful view we have today uh, we have a latex mattress very thin but very comfortable as you can see we have this airline system everywhere and what is really important for us is the details so uh, every screw that you see in this van, it is locked in one line, one position. So if you take a look at this airline, you see every cross. These are rivnut um, screws. These are not wood screws. These are not self drilling screws. These are like rivnut screws. So if you see the line and the adjustment of every single screw is like perfectly the same. It goes the same here and the same here. In the same way here the whole whole adjustment is perfect all of these screws every little shape and pattern is like that I hate when there is a mess and every screw is different way so uh, 230 volts 12 volts USB port uh, for the bed very very good place so here we have some storage extra storage place and which kind of a creates this feeling of being in your own like crib <laughs> in a womb whatever how is it called not an english native english speaker so please forgive me if i make any mistakes here you see the kitchen also the screws so <clears throat> when we are here in the kitchen let's talk about it a little bit i like it i love it when i have space in the kitchen when I can free, easily cook without any problems. So, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> so generally, in most of the camper vans, you have this kind of a foldable tops and very small countertops. And every time you want to cook something, and I love to cook, it's like you have to like move things and this and this way and that and open this and that. Here you have a proper worktop. You can prepare your food. You can easily access the um, very big sink by the way this tap has nearly the same color like that and then you can cook anything on your induction cooktop and this is a very good and very funky induction cooktop because induction cooktops normally they take a lot of power a lot of energy and we would need to install big batteries and so on and so on this is an induction cooktop which is called soul gas and it uses LPG gas. The bottle you've seen in the back is refillable. You can fill it in every place in the world, world with special like um, adapters. And you can actually cook on this cooktop with gas and it's not an open fire. That's really, really cool feature. I love it and we will use it more. So if we are still with the kitchen, I will show you what we did to organize the space. So everything is locked in position. So no noises will be made or the noises will be minimized so every plate has its has its like um, proper position it will not move it will not fly around it would not get damaged or scratched so here we have some pans so i love this feature this is what rock off-road helped us to do and here we have big big cabinets what I also call is this this cabinet, I call it wine cabinet because actually it's really perfect to slide in some bo wine, um, bottles of wine. <laughs> and for all of these lights and for all, the, all of this power, responsible is LiPo uh, battery from Liontron. It's 200 amps battery and complete Victron energy system. And the car is designed in a way that when you drive, you load your battery. When you are stopped, you use you load charge your battery from 310 solar watt power on the roof, and also you can hook it, hook it up to 230 volts. This van is an adventure van. People will live in it, but they will explore a lot. So they will be moving every day, or every two or three days. This is not a van that was designed to be placed in one position for two or three months and just like you know camp in one one only place this van was made to <clears throat> explore an adventure so in this way this compressor fridge 
all of these lights and chargers and here we have some usb ports as well and 230 volts all of this can be powered uh, fluently with with the back battery we have a big mosquito here so i will try to bang leave it so here we will have a mosquito net very soon as well here we have some domestic uh, big domestic roof window you can install a um, exterior a fan as well so if you are camping somewhere where it's very hot and you want to like change the air you can take the fan from the back and you can install it and here is a plug and you can just turn it on <clears throat> ah mosquitoes i hate them <laughs> season starts you can see there we have some switches for the exterior lights um and you know just that's all very very easy to access very easy to use we have a gas alarm here and we have another gas alarm in the back so that's very important uh swivel seats that's a classic thing and i think that we've reached everything except so we have the victron charging station we've went everywhere except the bathroom bathroom as well is aluminium and it has a composting toilet same unit for the outside and inside shower air vent you have some airlines here to hang your um, um, uh, wet clothes if you are like somewhere like camping and you are coming from a rain and you want to dry them off uh, here will be also a curtain which will lock on the airlines so that's a very very easy and simple bathroom we have compressor fridge with the freezer and what is very very important as well is that we have here a hundred liter water tank under the seat uh, these people will drive only two so this seat is just for you know camping here so there are pumps and uh, water filters everything is under the seat so again we could extend the space of the garage you know generally these vans this size of a van is like the best for two people four people will get a little bit cramped in here so it is very cool to install like pop tops on them and if you like this movie if you like our builds or if you want to follow our builds go to um, adventurevanconversions.com or you can also check our facebook at adventure van conversions same on instagram and youtube well you've reached it on youtube so <laughs> so you, you will not have to look for us again but if you want just some more infos and if you want to like always look at our products because we offer some of this stuff you can buy it not all but like most typical things and if you want to like learn more about these isolations and the things we do then just visit us and follow us because soon we will also start uh, a series on how to build your own camper van in the proper way like really nice and proper way it won't be like some kind of extreme extreme um, lessons from which you will be able to <clears throat> start your own company but it will be a very very simple and very uh, tested and good way of using and incorporating things in your vans like isolation and how to make electric or wirings uh, in a simple simple sufficient way that anyone can do it and kind of a, anyone can afford a really well nicely and precisely uh, manufactured van so <laughs> again uh, wow 29 minutes of talking that's a lot i hope you've reached to the end of this video and see you next time goodbye cheers <coughs>